Scars from the Guild Dedo, and we are going to do the tutorial on Garfeld's Pyramid in the Valley of the Undying King. And shall we go? I think so. So you want to go to your map. You're probably familiar with this already, but you go Sand Sea. You go to Bastion. Go ahead and mount up. I think it's funny because uh, my character is a little bit um, contradictive. I've got like a holy angel look, but I get up on my um, Legion Steed here. Devourer of Souls, which I have that set. I love it. I rock it sometimes. Depends on what I'm doing. Um, you're going to go to Skiff Travel. Skiff Master. Take the old Skiff. And we can just travel to the Valley of the Undying King. If you watched my Procos Challenge tutorial, you'll know that you can go up in there. Once you've unlocked it, there's a portal. You can just travel instantly to any of these pyramids after you've beaten the quest line. But Garfeld is directly to the left of Lord Sect Temple. There's Krakos back there, which is directly behind. To the left is Garfeld. And you can tell if it's Garfeld or not. Because that's him standing up there. And his uh, two buddies, which we will be fighting in here. And here's my buddy Chestnut. Check him out, check him out. Looking like a character off of Dark Souls. Yeah, is that a beard you're rocking? You got a beard? Dude, that's freaking awesome. I like that beard. How'd you get Is that special? I will show you where you can find it. Where you can find it. Ah, yeah, I got to check. I love beards, obviously. I mean, I have a beard. <laughs> in real life so yeah I'd like to check it out um, he's got a quest it's just to kill Garfeld and you can do this daily um, it's to get a travel form it will take you 30 days of doing it because it takes 30 tokens and you can only get them once a day so you'll just accept that plus you get your little 10k experience it's not too bad you might as well if you're doing it Cause you got one to do the Sun Fury side quest, the legendary weapon that everybody wants. You're gonna have to do all these dungeons every day, plus the Scorpion Raid. So just get ready to have fun and grind. But here's the travel form. It is Garfeld himself. That's what he looks like. And you've probably seen people running around like this. I think it's a cool travel form. I'm probably in my top five. Uh, but I've already got, see, there's a 30 Garfeld dust. Um, and it is Guardian travel form on. So I suggest you buy the Guardian package, uh, at least the cheap one, because you get a lot of benefits from it. It also supports developing the game. Um, that's why I don't mind spending money on the game. But you can, I mean, you can play for free, you know. That's your preference. So level 34 plus for this dungeon. Um, Difficulty is normal. I don't know why. I guess there is no challenge mode. I call it challenge mode though. But anywho, it's level 34 plus recommended one to five players. Um, here's your currency here. Tomb Spice, that's for quests out in the uh, in this area. Sand Sea and all that. Um, here's your 700 melee weapons. And here's that Sunkeeper armor. If you watched my last tutorial on the Krakos challenge, uh, you want to collect this gear because you're going to need it to craft a set that you get at another boss. Um, and that's from the Great Pyramid. It's the Dejin challenge. It's really good gear. I actually don't have it yet myself. I'm working on it. Um, but you can infuse it to uh, 15 infusions instead of 10. Let me make sure, let's double check that. My gear goes to 
Yeah, I see 10 infusions here. Um, the set, and I can't remember the name of it. What is it, Chestnut? Do you remember? Chestnut. The name of the set that Dijin has. Uh, no, I, I kind of forgot it. Okay, that's no, alright. That's no biggie. I know. We'll get it. We'll get to it in the next tutorial. No biggie, but we'll lead up to it. We're just kind of running through everything, and it actually kind of goes in this order. I believe the storyline goes like Krakos Pyramid. Go oh, here's the maze. We gotta hurry. So you gotta kind of stay right. I believe I've not run this too many times to memorize it. So but I believe you stay right and then you go, you want to go left, not here, right here. And then think this way. No, trick me. Next one, I believe. Bum, 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 bum. Should be to the left here. Oh, no, I'm all turned around. There it is. Yep, you got it. I should have turned there. I went the wrong way. Anywho, little maze there. And once someone, once one of your party members gets through it, you teleport here. So, and it's no biggie if you don't get it. And you don't have to kill these mobs either. Um, there's a couple different things you got to do here. Or you unlock the boss room, which is right here. You just gotta kill some things, collect some things. Go on about your way. Oh, this place actually gives good experience. I got 321 experience from that. You come in this room, kill all these guys. They ain't much. They ain't much to look at. Ah, this place is actually a really good experience. Now you can open all these tombs if you want to farm experience, but I, I don't. I don't suggest it. The Westmere Mines is the best place to get experience right now. It's about ten thousand experience uh, per minute, literally. I've done the math enough to know. Okay, so there's the entrance you come in. You want to walk past these pillars and where Chestnut's standing, you can go ahead and open it, buddy. That's where the key's at every single time. So there's one key. So if you open up anything else, you're going to end up fighting mummies. But just remember, past this pillar here, it's the third one to your right. Like that key. Walk on over here. Oh, let's check out the loot. So here's the loot you get. Dan C scrolls. Random other things for oh we gotta go. We should have went left first, I guess. Sorry. I'm so used to just running this with like five people. It's you know, everybody's doing their own thing. But typically, if there's a five-person group, two people will go that way and clear it out while the others are doing this. Let's kill this guy just for fun. Yeah. Like fighting stuff. Brand cool. Done cool. Dun, 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 dun. Zoom in, I can't see anything. Here we go. These guys, you gotta kind of fight, but they're squishy. But they are doing some damage. All right, there we go. They just kind of drop. I don't know. I think it's actually all just trash, really. You don't really need it. But you just make your way across all this. Oh, no, no, no. I auto targeted and about walked off. What you got to do is work your way. You can probably skip past all this, work your way that way. 
There's a key at the end that you need to get through the door that we were just at. I'm gonna heal up and see if I can't. Are we in combat yet? Yeah. Let's see if I can't skip past this real quick. Well, no, because we gotta light those torches. Woo, about fell off again. Hey, mummy. Scorpion wins. Go oh, big boy on him. Get him out of here. I absolutely love Berserker. I played this class for probably three weeks before I realized that ultimate um, made you bigger. So you got to click these. I believe you got to get them all to light up. Should be. Ah. That one. Dang it. I don't remember the rhythm. There we go. Get that rhythm right. Open it up. There's your second key. Can't go that way unless you have a scepter, which you get from the Mummy and the Krakos challenge, apparently, what I've heard. Not really worried about it. Don't need it. You cannot mount up in this dungeon either because of that maze. But you just work your way back. And usually someone else is doing this at the same time you're <clears throat> clearing the room that we just cleared where the scarabs were and the key was hidden inside the sarcophagus. Dun 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 Auto run. I love it. Oh gosh. Gotta stretch it out. Woo! Getting it tonight. Well, I should say this morning. <laughs> Been playing all night. All right, so there's the entrance here. Please, scorpions, right quick while I tell you. So there's your entrance where my cursor's at. And you come in and go back to the right. We've already gotten our key. I'm going to show you one more time. It's because we're already going that way. So you pass the pillars up. And it is in the third one. So one, two, three. Open that up. The key's in there. Once you got both keys, so the one in the sarcophagus and then the one across the bridges, you can now open this door. And this is kind of like the test room at Krakos. You just fight a bunch of guys and you get the boss key. This one's fun because there's mommies everywhere. I mean, I mean, m -m -m mummies. Oh, one popped up behind me. Came out. And you can use warriors in this too for your AOE or anything else that AOEs if you want to make it quicker. But I'm just like playing my Zerk. Blocking my Zerk. Do, do, do. We can get him. Yeah. That span. Oh yeah, kill, always kill the squishies first. Reduces damage. Damage mitigation. Always not. You're peskier than I thought. Yeah. It's all right, you pesky. You don't want to be in here killing all you. I'm gonna rush to the boss. Last wave is mummies until you get to the little mini boss, aka whatever his name is. Sure, I forget. Need to equip some potions real quick after this fight. Just neck. Name Joss Neck. Ooh. 
looks pretty sweet. I'm gonna zoom in, don't kill it. Ah, too late. I was gonna try and get my view up, that's all right. But there's your boss key right there. Ah, it's all good, buddy. I said it a little too late. I actually never really had paid attention to his aesthetics before until just now. I was like, it looks pretty cool. All right, so you just backtrack. Head back towards the main entrance. Now you're there once you see the little portal pull here. I've never died here, but I assume if you die, you spawn back and can get back in right here. This is a very easy dungeon and it is soloable. Hello, Chestnut. How are you, mate? Fine and dandy. And here is Garfeld and his little buddies. Do not know their names. Um, my suggestion is there's three of them. Garfeld is in the middle. Um, he's obviously the strongest because he is the boss. It is his pyramid. He owns this place. He paid the mortgage. He paid his dues. But we're going to take it from him. Um, you want to start with the one on the left. I'm going to walk on to her. Miss Arlen. Take her out first. And you want to take out the next smaller minion. Name all. And this just reduces damage. Because if you focus the boss, these guys are just going to be smacking you going to take damage for no reason whatsoever. Then you go to Garfeld himself, which that is the travel form. Obviously, it's not that big, but it is the size of your character. Which is cool. And it looks really cool when he's running, too. Man, he went down so easy. But this, this dungeon's completely solvable. Oh, Sunkeeper Belt. I think I actually need it. Nice. Wow. No, I needed that one too. Probably. Cool. So we got something out of this tutorial other than having fun. Um, and every time you beat that, once again, on the daily, you get your Garfeld statue dust. Need 30 of those, so it's going to take you 30 days if you want Mr. Garfeld himself to travel for him. Which I'll eventually get some size. See, I've done it five times. Not really done this dungeon that much. Usually just to help. But that is the end of the tutorial for Garfeld Pyramid. Thank you very much. And a little celebration here. Gonna honor Mr. Chestnut coming along with me, and we're gonna jump for joy. And this is War Scars. Got my buddy Chestnut with me. I don't know who this Slagar person is. Looks pretty cool though. But War Scars, that's the tutorial for the day. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that follow button if you don't mind on Twitch. And we'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Four scars and I'm out.